Hi there, I'm Gree Garnas and this trailer is all about my retouching DVD. These tutorials are for those of you who already have some retouching miles and images that you already work on. You'll find solutions here to many, many tricky tasks and you'll learn technique, not just tricks. There are over 13 hours of tutorials on the DVD. This is not a join the dots video where you learn how to retouch an image from start to finish. You will learn a much bigger range of methods than we can apply to one image. And here I show you alternative methods because what works for one image may not work for another. And that's why the DVD shows over a hundred different images. If you're a photographer or a new retoucher, you'll benefit a lot from this DVD. And I think where it differs from others is that I'm very focused on client work, getting you to understand and implement color management on files knowing how to prepare and deliver to clients and knowing how to work editably so that when the clients change their mind about something, you're not caught out by it. I teach you how to work clean and logical so that when you have a client looking over your shoulder, you can feel really confident. I've trained photographers and retouchers for over 10 years now, and I know exactly where you tend to trip up. I'm here to really teach you, not just to show off my tricks. My DVD has seven different chapters. The first is Essential Skills, where I make sure you fully get the concept and methods of masking and selections in all its forms. Masking is involved in pretty much every tutorial here. We then whip Photoshop into just the right shape, customising settings to suit a retoucher's work. And then through a complete and fast forward workflow, I show all the different types of layers we use and how they interact. I treat the layer stack uh, like a multi-track recording which can be remixed at any time. I also look at the refinement of edges and use Refine Edge in both CS4 and CS5. And last but not least, the two things absolutely essential to professional retouching, the pen tool and brush technique. Showing all the dynamics of brushes in CS4 and CS5 and what they actually do and how to paint using the brush tool presets that I supply. The second chapter is colour retouching. I think this is the most crucial aspect of Photoshop because the images we uh, work on are just mosaics of pixels and uh, it's mostly the colours that we manipulate as we retouch. Understanding how colours behave or misbehave in the process from screen to print and how we can make them behave better is one of the key skills that uh, sets the pro apart from the amateur. Understanding skin colours and what happens when we are manipulating curves is of course another aspect of that. In the colour adjustments, we really focus on curves using colour adjustment layers, of course, for um, a fully editable layer stack. For selective colour adjustments, I have a very good tutorial that uh, combines making selections with applying the adjustments in a very flexible and perhaps more visual way than most people would use them. I also teach you how you can use apply image to tweak out lost detail and use a gradient map with blending modes to control contrast and to apply a split tone. Next we move on to skin retouching. I know this is um, the part that most people are interested in. We start with focus on cloning and healing. For dodging and burning, I have no less than five completely different techniques for that, which I combine in two different images, showing you how and when to use them. I show both fast and slow ways to minimize pores and wrinkles, and a quick cheat hair conceal for those times when it has to be done fast and dirty. After tackling some uh, demanding eye bags, we look at how a face can be given more shape through a shading and uh, I show you two really good methods to give the skin um, a smoother and tighter finish when the brief calls for it. And then we make the highlights pop in a controlled kind of way, giving it that sizzle and that final touch. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking skin, 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 that that's the alpha and omega of retouching, but there's really so much more than that. 
So the features chapter is going to be just as important to you. We look at how a jaw can be reshaped through pixel transforms and also through shading. For each of the main features, I dedicate 20 to 35 minutes each to tackling high res images with all the typical flaws and challenges so that we really go in depth on lips, eyes, lashes and two very different eyebrows. When it comes to examples, we use high res images, which are also supplied that throw up some of the worst challenges that you normally come across, not just the easy way to do it. <laughs> Hair comes next. Um, we start with cleaning up the hair with the precision that that entails using several different techniques. Making hair shine and changing the hair colours are both reliant on um, making a good selection and using flexible adjustment layers with blending modes. In fact, uh, making critical hair selections are so often and in so many scenarios used that I have um, several different tutorials that focus on this. And I have one special tutorial that looks at how we can use adjustment layers to prepare a hair mask and um, refining it after a new background has been imposed on it. For hair, we also do some grafting, borrowing hair to cover the gaps. And then we move on to the figure. Remodeling a figure that requires a, a lot of different moves in order to stretch and shape the various parts of the model. We take the content uh, aware fill for a little spin on the background and we use the puppet warp as well as the good old warp transform. Along the way we of course have to consider what happens to the background and get those masks absolutely right. We also focus on clothing and in these tutorials I use a, a couple of different methods for changing the colour of the clothes and I tackle the unwanted moiré effect that often occurs when shooting with high-end digital backs. I also fix a crumpled dress using various tools and tricks and methods. In my daily work as a retoucher it isn't just about the model, it's about the full picture. I spend a lot of time and energy on backgrounds and I show you examples of just that and a few tutorials that tackle aspects of this. I extend a colorama through content aware scale and put it to the test on a more complex background. I straighten verticals while leaving the subject intact. Most people don't seem to be aware of all the different ways of uh, resizing images so I take on an exhaustive resizing adventure. Sharpening is another aspect that has so many variations. So we start with a concept and then look at some variations of uh, global sharpening. Then in the following tutorial we look at how custom suppression methods can be applied to different images. Throughout the tutorials I've mentioned and used um, noise in masks and now we look at how noise can be used to make a comp more believable and generally consider different ways of using noise, even using good noise to cover up the bad. The last check before signing off our images may reveal some blown highlights. We make a minimum dot using the simple method that I've been teaching my clients for years and always works a treat. Finally, we get to the handing over to client stage. And although this sounds easy, it's often a really critical part of the process, especially in terms of um, colour and communication. I have so many experiences of client communication gone haywire. I'm presenting a few typical scenarios here and giving you my finishing checklist. There's also some very fabulous music from the Bahama Soul Club and the Juju Orchestra. When you work on your own images, take your time and make sure you watch the whole tutorial at least once before you try to work along. I hope you have a great journey with my DVD and remember to enjoy the journey as well as the result. But we think that you will dig this. <laughs>